Hello, hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Heather Corinne, and today we're going to be crocheting Baby Yoda. He is so cute. I'll post a list of materials and stitches we'll be using in the description below, as well as a link to my blog post where I've typed this pattern out for you. If you haven't already, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a lot, and you won't miss my next project. Let's get started. We'll begin by creating a magic circle with brown yarn. So we're just going to chain one and then single crochet six stitches into this magic circle. Then we'll take this loose end and pull the magic circle tight. And for round two, we're going to place two single crochet in each stitch around for a total of 12 stitches for round two. For round three, we're going to place two single crochet in the first stitch and one single crochet in the next stitch. So this is the second single crochet in that same stitch and then one single crochet in the next. So then I'll do two single crochet in the next stitch and one single crochet in the next stitch and we'll repeat this all the way around which will give us a total of 18 stitches for round three. For round four we'll place two single crochet in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next two stitches. So here will be my second single crochet into that first stitch, and then we'll place one single crochet in each of the next two stitches, and we'll repeat this all the way around for a total of 24 stitches for round four. For round five, we're gonna place two single crochet in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next three stitches. So here's my second single crochet in that first stitch and then in each of the next three stitches, we'll place one single crochet. And we'll repeat this until the end of the round, which will be a total of 30 stitches for round five. For round six, we're going to single crochet in each stitch around, but we're only going to single crochet in the back loops only. So instead of going through both loops, we'll go into that back loop and single crochet. So that will be a total of 30 stitches for round six. As you can see, we've sort of created the edge that creates the bottom for him. So for rounds seven through nine, we're going to single crochet in each stitch around using both loops for a total of 30 stitches per round, round seven through nine.
So here we are completed rounds seven, eight, and nine. I like to use my stitch markers so I don't lose my place. And so I'm just going to pop these stitch markers out before we start on round 10. So round 10, we're going to single crochet decrease. So we will yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the next stitch as well. So there's three on the hook, yarn over, pull through, all three so we've turned two stitches into one stitch so after that single crochet decrease we're going to single crochet in the next three stitches and we'll repeat this all the way around for a total of 24 stitches for round 10. For round 11, we're going to single crochet in each stitch around for a total of 24 stitches for round 11. And I'll meet you back on the last stitch of the 11th row because we're going to be changing colors. In the last stitch of the 11th row we're going to yarn over and pull through so there's two loops on the hook and instead of pulling through with brown we're going to pull through both loops with cream and then we'll just pull the loose end and the brown end tight before moving on with cream so for rounds 12 through 16 we're going to single crochet in each stitch around with cream yarn for a total of 24 stitches for rounds 12 through 16. After I've done the first couple stitches with a new color, I like to trim off the previous color just to get it out of the way and then I'll tie a quick double knot with the beginning of our new color and the end of our old color just to secure everything. So here we are coming up on the end of the 16th round. As you can see, I like to keep those stitch markers so that I count which round I'm on when I'm repeating a lot of rows. So I'm just going to pop those out and we will finish up the base of this piece. So we're going to slip stitch into what would be the first stitch of the next round and we're going to tie off with a long tail. And now we're going to roll the cream portion down into sort of a collar. See how it um, creates a cozy little space for his head to nest into. So we're going to take a tapestry needle and just stitch down that folded over collar just to secure it so that it doesn't come apart. So I'm just going to stitch in and out all the way around the edge and tie off that loose end. Now we'll add a bit of stuffing and we'll set this piece aside. 
To begin with the head, we're going to create a magic circle with green yarn and we're going to single crochet six stitches into the magic circle. Then we'll pull that loose tail to tighten the magic circle up. And for round two, we're going to place two single crochet in each stitch around for a total of 12 stitches for round two. For round three, we're going to place two single crochet in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next stitch. So here I've got one single crochet, pop the stitch marker back in, then we'll add the second single crochet to that same stitch and then one single crochet in the next. And we're going to repeat this all the way around until we have a total of 18 stitches for round three. For round four, we're gonna place two single crochet in the first stitch, and then we'll place one single crochet in the next two stitches. And we'll repeat this until the end of the round, which will be a total of 24 stitches for round four. For rounds five through eight, we're going to single crochet in each stitch around for a total of 24 stitches for rounds five through eight. Coming up on the end of row eight, you can see I've got stitch markers in rows five, six, seven, and eight to keep my place. So we're gonna pop those out before we start on row nine. For row nine, we're going to single crochet decrease. So we've got three loops on that hook, pull through all three, and then we're going to single crochet in the next two stitches. So we're going to repeat this all the way around, single crochet decrease, and then single crochet in the next two stitches for a total of 18 stitches for round nine. For round 10, we're going to single crochet decrease and then single crochet in the next stitch, repeating this all the way around for a total of 12 stitches for round 10. At the end of round 10, I pull a large loop out and put a stitch marker in, in order to add our safety eyes and add our stuffing. I really love these little safety eyes. I've got them linked down below for you. You just pop them in 
and then you add the little safety backs onto them. Now that we've added our eyes and our stuffing, I'm going to remove that stitch marker from where we left off and just insert the hook and pull it back tight to move on to round 11. For round 11, we're going to single crochet decrease six times in a row for a total of six stitches. After that last single crochet decrease, we're going to chain one and tie off with a long tail. So we will trim the yarn and pull through that chain one stitch to secure it. The head is just going to nestle down on top of the body we made, so we're not going to worry too much about seaming up the very end hole at the bottom. So his head will nestle just a little bit into there so that just his eyes are barely visible. So we'll take our tapestry needle and that long green tail and begin stitching the head onto the torso. Moving on to the ears, we're going to chain nine chain stitches with green. For row one, we're going to single crochet in each stitch for a total of eight stitches. For row two, we're going to single crochet decrease and then single crochet in the next six stitches for a total of seven stitches for row two. For row three, we're going to single crochet decrease in those first two stitches, and then we'll single crochet in the next five stitches for a total of six stitches for row three. For row four, we're going to single crochet decrease, and then we're going to single crochet in the next four stitches for a total of five stitches for row four. For row five, we're going to single crochet decrease and then single crochet in the next three stitches for a total of four stitches for row five. For row six, we're going to single crochet decrease and then single crochet in the next two stitches for a total of three stitches for row six. 
for row seven we're going to single crochet decrease and then single crochet in the next stitch for a total of two stitches for row seven and row eight we're going to single crochet decrease one time because there should only be two stitches left to single crochet decrease into so that's one and we're going to chain one and continue up the left side of the ear with a row of slip stitches. When we get to the corner of the ear, we're going to chain one and continue slip stitching across the bottom. When we get to the next corner, we're going to chain one again and continue slip stitching down the other side of the ear. When we get back to the top, we're going to single crochet once into the end of the ear and then we'll slip stitch it to join, chain one, and tie off. Using a tapestry needle, we're going to weave in both of those loose ends. Pulling off another strand of green yarn, we're going to attach the tapestry needle and create the little curl that gives his ears so much character. So we'll take what will be the correct side, so the wrong side is facing the back, and pull the two corners of the ear together, and that's what gives it the little curl. So we'll run the tapestry needle through one corner and then run it through the other corner to attach them. And here I'm just going to tie a little double knot before stitching the ear onto the side of the head.
Moving on to the arms, we're going to use green to create a magic circle and we're going to single crochet six stitches into the magic circle. We'll then pull that loose end so that we can tighten up the magic circle and we'll move on to round two. For round two, we're going to single crochet in each stitch for a total of six stitches around, but I'll catch up with you on the last stitch of this round because we're going to be changing colors. On the last stitch of round two, we're going to switch to brown yarn. So we've yarned over pull through one, and instead of pulling through two, we're going to pull through two with the brown. Pull tight on the green end and the loose brown end before starting round three. Round three, we're going to continue to single crochet in each stitch around. We're just using brown now, so that'll be a total of six stitches for round three. Since we're not doing any increasing, you sort of have to start curling the arm into a, a tube shape, or it gets a little challenging to work with. After the end of round three, we're going to slip stitch and chain one, tying off with a long brown tail. So here I'm going to pull that magic circle tail tight and trim the loose ends. I'm not going to add any stuffing because I'm going to use what's left of those tails as stuffing and trim any excess before stitching the little arm onto the body. If you're enjoying this pattern, please hit the subscribe button. I have a super cute and fun Chewbacca Amigurumi coming up very soon. I hope you have enjoyed creating this baby Yoda with me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.